<laughs> now, TV presenter Trini Woodhull has admitted in an interview with Tatler magazine that there's more to her looking fabulous at 46 than meets the eye. She says, I think it's unnecessary to go all coy and French and pretend you're just amazingly beautiful naturally. Uh, I would advise women not to be shy about admitting that they've had Botox. But is she right? Do women have a duty co to confess that they've had a little bit of help to look good? I think people should be honest, if I'm truthful, because, you know, people look at you, I mean, there were, Sharon Osbourne is the one that said, you know, I can't possibly look like this at my age without having had something done. And for people to think at home that a pot of cream can make you look like that <laughs> is so annoying, isn't it? And so not true. And it really, really annoys me. So I do think we should come out. I do think we should be truthful. It's an unreal unrealistic expectation to think that you can look like that without any help. And there's nothing wrong with it. And I have to tell you, I did it. I got started because I went to a, a surgeon one day because I thought, uh, I think I was about 43 and thought, ooh, ooh. And this woman greeted me and then went out into another room and I heard her say to a nurse, now she's a good candidate for a facelift. <laughs> Of course, that started that all going there. And I thought, oh, God, she must think I look terrible. And I think that's what we do. Now, if we admit it and go, no, I don't look like this naturally. I've had a bit done. I haven't had any fillers and stuff done for a long time. You might say I need it. But what I'm saying is I haven't. But I have had it done. And I do think if we're truthful, it makes people think, oh, well, she didn't, you know, you don't look like that with a pot of cream. And I, I think it's important. Agree, Sherry. I think, you know, when people have got a different face, as in Sharon Osbourne and a few other people we know from telly, they look totally different. I think there is a what need. What do you mean by totally different? I mean to how they looked before? Well, Sharon Osbourne's got a completely different right, face. Okay. I mean, she looks so different from what in mm. her twenties and thirties. Um, I think then you just look an idiot if you say, "Yeah, okay, you know, I've had nothing done." But if you're just getting tweaks or a bit of a, you know, anti-wrinkle injection or whatever, it's nobody's business. Why do the British feel the need to sit and confess it all? In America, nails done, little injection or whatever, it's. It's seen as maintenance, mm. and I don't see the need why people seem to be confessing all the time. I am. Um... <laughs> I, I think that I may be a little bit too honest about it and I, do, I don't know whether it's just because I am quite an open person which I've learnt to my detriment on this show many many times before or whether it's a case of me getting it out first before people either say or, or sort of out me about it because I'm, you know, I've never said I'm, I'm, I'm embarrassed about it at all and I sort of, it's, it's a bit like sharing it's like when we went to Bangkok and we, you know, I know you're not supposed to say but you know those bags that you can get they're a little bit cheaper than the real ones people go, oh, look at that fantastic bag and I always go Bangkok, 40 quid, you know, so I think, <laughs> so I think it's maybe, it's maybe the same as that, but I've, I've had, you know, so bit, Dan, bits, had done? I've had, well, I've had, I've had lots of bits done, right, <laughs> here we go, so, I have my, I have my fillers done here, yeah, um, now I'm quite lucky that I don't have a very deep nasal labia, which is the uh, correct <laughs> word for it, um, so I do, I do sort of keep that up now Would and again. Do you worry as a serious actress that it could affect you? Serious actress, not anymore, Claire. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think that reputation's out the window. Um, no, I don't. I, I, I don't worry about it. I have, I have very good people. I make sure that I research it well, and I've got really, really exactly. good, good people in the north and uh, who, who, if, if I have a little bit of um, anti-wrinkle in injections that don't make me l look like that, so I can still, I can still move my face. But you see, face. you don't go my you eyes. Don't but the thing is, so Denise, you don't go into a magazine and say, oh, I look like this at this age naturally you actually and that's what i'm saying well, i think people are very it. intimidated when they meet me sherry so i like to put them at their ease yes. and tell them. <laughs> as long as you don't lie about I think, it i think if you're not lying about it and selling a product or whatever that's mm. one thing but at the end of the day if people ask you outright actually mind your own business yes. i get my roots done i get my nails well. done well, i mean it's like it's like i had you know I, I made a present to myself which i've talked about on my 50th birthday which i didn't have sort of like massive massive shopping bags under my eyes but i did have bags that were bothering me and i had them done if i have them one and then they're gone two weeks well, later. It's obvious. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's quite obvious. And as long as people are commenting in a sort of a, quite mm. an, an affirmative, positive unless you way, see you've got a magic point. bag fairy. But the thing is, we haven't got magic bag no, fairies, we have we, ladies? <laughs> well, apart from the old horsefly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
<laughs> I mean, I'm, I must, you know, you, you mentioned, you know, in America it's seen as maintenance, you know, like I said, I've just come back from New York and it was brilliant. My, my friend Jane and I, we went and had our nails done and people were just walking in off the street, you're going to have a manicure, you're going to have a pedicure. Um, I mean, 50, 60 years ago, whatever, pe people didn't necessarily dye their hair. Now, I would have salt and pepper, grey and dark hair. I don't want to look like that, so I have a, you know, a colour rinse put through. I, I shave my legs. You know, I, I'd, otherwise <laughs> I'd have hairy legs. <laughs> but by the same token, what, is that cheating? I don't think so. I, I think, think it makes no. you look nice. I if you have other bits. Men having it, Claire. I think it can be quite off-putting for men. And I've suddenly become aware of it now, being single. I've, I have hair extensions. But my head feels like Medusa. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, Medusa. It's not a sexy feel. If anyone comes to stroke your head, you're like, ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't you know, dance, you know. But you look lovely. That's but I, I just think things like that can be off-putting to men, so why confess? Let them think it's all natural, it's nobody's business. Yes, I'm naturally hairless, Steve. Right. <laughs> um, uh, we're